Hello, hello, my beautiful people. Happy New Year. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Goretti and I am the counselor at Butterfly Project. So today I wanted to touch on something. I did do uh, that Happy New Year video. I'm gonna be honest, I did that video very quickly. I just wanted to wish you all a very Happy New Year and I hope that it has been a wonderful start so far. I did touch a little bit on um, New Year's resolutions uh, and setting goals, but I didn't really dive too deep into that. So I just wanted to do that here today. Um, so what I wanted to kind of uh, start off by saying is, you know, most people when they do New Year's resolutions, the reason that they do not work is because people really dive in deep into it like fast and furious right at the beginning of the year and people don't realize that december especially if you do celebrate uh christmas and new year's and there's usually a lot of festivities maybe there's birthdays and things going on you know lots of like family gatherings and and eating you know and not sleeping enough and running around and um when we do that uh, a lot of people you know getting sick throughout you know uh, that time especially in the northern hemisphere so when we do that we're not really paying attention to you know our physical needs our mental health you know things like that and what happens is you know then we start the new year and we're like it's a clean slate and i need to like you know be perfect with my diet and i'm going to jump into this exercise routine routine and all these kinds of things um but like your mind and your body usually isn't really prepared for that it is very good for us to spend this is how I see you know what new year's resolutions uh really should be for us to really spend time especially in January yes maybe we can start taking some action towards things but I think January is a month for us to really spend time kind of catching up on sleep getting back into routine of things and also contemplating like getting your mindset in a good place contemplating what you want for 2024 what you know looking back at 2023 not too much but just looking at like what didn't you like about 2023 what did you learn from you know failures or mistakes that you made because really that's how we learn and it's it's a good thing right um you know, uh, failures and mistakes is just an opportunity for us to do better, you know, next time. Um, so what is it that you didn't like about 2023? What is it that you want to create for 2024? Um, and then start looking at all the different areas of your life. So you can get like a piece of paper and you can do, you know, your health, you can do relationships, money, career, take a look at those are kind of like the big four, right? Take a look at each area of your life and then split it into what are your positive thoughts and mindsets about that uh, particular topic? Let's do health because that's such a big one, you know, for New Year's resolutions, right? So you look at your health. What are the positive thoughts that you have around health, right? Um, is it, you know, I, I hate diets. I can't do it. You know, I hate exercise. Um, you know, sorry, that's not positive. That would be the negative thoughts. But, you know, uh, positives could be, you know, I really... Um, enjoy healthy eating. Um, I enjoy, you know, doing certain types of exercise, like maybe it's yoga, maybe it's dancing. Maybe it is going to the gym, right? Maybe it's taking classes, maybe it's swimming, running, whatever it is that you like. Um, there's some positives. And then with the negatives, um, it could be, you know, that, you know, I, I don't have a proper routine or, you know, I don't have the time, those kinds of things. Those are negative mindsets, negative thoughts. And you want to take the positives and look at how can I expand that? So let's say it's like, okay, I love healthy eating, but I don't have the time. Or maybe it's, I'm not prepared. I'm not organized then maybe we need to look at implementing, right? We're gonna set some goals and we're gonna set some steps to take us towards those goals, bite-sized pieces, baby steps, right? We're not gonna jump into this fast and furious. Maybe it is looking at, you know, different um, kind of, you know, menus or different kind of, um, you know, uh, I don't wanna say diets, but, you know, ways of, of eating, meal plans, right? Is it, do you want more of a plant-based diet? Do you want more protein in your diet? Do you want more just whole foods in your diet, right? So we're gonna look at that and we're gonna say, okay, um, 
you know, let's say I want more, <clears throat> I need to eat more vegetables, right? I need to have more like whole foods, not so much processed foods. Okay, so one of the steps is I'm gonna remove processed foods that I no longer need. If you haven't used it, donate it, right? Um, or, you know, if you're doing your grocery shopping, now you have this in mind that I'm not gonna buy processed things. I'm going to buy as close to nature as possible, okay? Um, so if it is that you're eating meat, while well, you're just eating, you know, just the plain meat, like you're not buying things, you know, like sausage and, and stuff that has been processed, right? Um, so, you know, if you're doing vegetables, you don't want vegetables that have been processed, right? You want like the raw vegetables and then you can create something with it. Find some meal plans that are really just simple and easy for you to do. Another thing would be, um, and I'm going, I know I'm going a little bit deeper into this one, but you know, it would be something that works really well for me is meal prepping. Okay. And so that could be like batch cooking. So I cook a lot of like my starch cause that's usually the longest one to do so you can do like starch uh, a batch cook you can do protein as those are cooking you could be cutting up vegetables and cooking those um or maybe it's you know the protein and vegetables you know kind of together um you can do a lot of like one pot meals or prepping things you know maybe for like the crock pot uh that sort of thing so you can prep things and throw them in a freezer. You can prep things and have like individual meals already set up or you can do batch cooking. Like I'll have like a ton of potatoes already, you know, done um, in different ways and I can easily make, you know, fries uh, from the cooked potatoes or mashed potatoes from them. You know, you can, you know, mix and match, right? I'll have like, you know, a pot of rice and then maybe I'll do like a chili and I'll have, you know, um, uh, veggies on the side or whatever, you guys. Um, it's pretty simple. There are so many people, especially on YouTube with lots of like meal prep and, and, and things like that. Um, you know, healthy whole food, uh, diets. So that's just an example. So you guys see what I did there. So then you guys are going to look at what are easy meals? Let's create a meal plan. Let's do some batch cooking one day out of the week. Maybe it's Sunday. You have lots of extra time. Uh, usually when I do batch cooking, we're talking like two to three hours is what I take. Um, you know, I, I've seen some people on YouTube that actually do it in about an hour and or an hour and a half. So if you're super extra busy and you don't have the time, you can do that. I mean, I have a four year old, so that might be why it takes me, you know, two to three hours to do it. It probably should take me a lot less. Um, but that's just, you know, one thing. Maybe it's money, right? Taking a look at your money. Do you have like negative mindsets about money? Like every time I make extra money, it always, you know, goes away. Like something comes up. You guys, mindset is very important. So look at what your positive mindsets are about these areas and look at what your negatives are. And we want to add more focus onto the positive. And we also want to look at negatives and we want to shift those, okay, into positive mindsets having an open mind, being positive about it, having, you know, a shift in perspective in these areas. And then we want to look at taking the steps to go towards that. What are the steps needed to take you into, maybe you want to save up for something, maybe you're spending too much, right? Um, you know, in regards to money, and I know times are tough, you guys, like groceries and gas and everything is like so expensive. And, um, Maybe it's, you know, one of the things that I do uh, in regards to money is uh, that saves, you know, time, saves energy. Um, I absolutely love doing it is like the online uh, ordering at the grocery store. Okay, I absolutely love it wherever you shop. Um, I absolutely love doing that. I'm sitting there at home as, you know, I'm quiet in my pajamas. I'm going through and I'm choosing. And here's what's really cool is I found that I'm only buying what I need. I look at my menu. I look at like the typical, you know, stuff that I always need, like milk and bread and, you know, toilet paper and, you know, things like that. Um, so I, I, I do all of that, but then, you know, um, I'm looking at my meal plan and I'm only buying for that. What I found is sometimes I'm going through and looking for things cause it will suggest things as well. Um, and I'm like, oh, I would like that. I would like that. So you're adding these things to your cart. Well, what's so cool about online shopping is it's very quick to take them out of your cart. So when you see like the total, you're like, oh, maybe I'm spending a little too much. What can I get rid of? And usually there's a lot of things that you don't need or you're buying too much of things that you really 
aren't going to need or things are going to go to waste okay also with meal prepping this is another great way to save on waste i don't waste any thing in my home anymore since I started doing this. The online shopping, my grocery bills are much less because of doing it. I don't have to deal with, you know, let's say I'm in the grocery store. Lots of times you're in line and you're putting things out and you feel embarrassed or you don't want to like put things back. You're like, I really don't need that. Um, or it's at the bottom of your cart and you're like, oh, I'm not going to pull it out right now. So doing the online shopping just helps you save money. Okay. Um, you know, maybe it's carpooling with people to work so that you save on gas or what, you know, for kids activities or whatever it is. There are so many different things that you can do to kind of help you in these areas. Right. Um, you know, if it's in regards to, uh, you know, a career, maybe it's, you need to look at a career change. Maybe it's going back to school. Uh, and if you want to do that, what steps do you need to take and baby steps? Like maybe it's, I might not get into school this year. Maybe it's kind of, you know, next year thing, but let me take a look into, you know, um, how I can get into this, you know, uh, career, right? So what, what schooling do I need? Doing some research. What kind of, you know, jobs would I have? Could I stay in my city? Do I have to move? Like so many questions. So what I want you guys to focus on mindset and then looking at each of these areas, shifting and changing your negative mindsets into positives. That is going to help you tremendously when you are trying to, you know, set goals and do these New Year's resolutions. The other thing is not fast and furious. We want to go slow and steady, right? Slow and steady wins the race. Small steps, okay? Um, and we want to do a lot of contemplation, a lot of planning and preparing first. If you don't have a plan, you guys, it's not going to work. And the plan can't just be in your head. I really tell people, you know, there is um, uh, magic to pen, pen on paper. Okay, so when you actually write things down, when you have something visually to look at, like this is my plan for the year. So if I want to get here by the end of the year, then I need to do this this month, this the next month, that on the third month, right? And like, that's how we do it. So slow and steady. Um, we want to contemplate on what didn't I like? What changes can I make to get me towards the goals that I need to get to? So January really should be a lot of like contemplating, planning. It shouldn't, you know, resting, getting yourself back into routine, getting to a place of, um, you know, feeling better. Maybe you guys have been sick. A lot of people get sick at the end of December and the reason is because they've been go 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 especially because of like Christmas time holidays or maybe it's like maybe you don't even celebrate um but let's say like your work is taking two weeks off of work and so now like you know for the first uh two weeks in in December last two weeks in November it's like you're just bombarded you know with work or, or clients or whatever it is because everybody's trying to get in before you close that kind of thing so you're drained. People are tired. Um, you know, they haven't been eating properly, right? And, um, you know, kind of just go, 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 a lot more takeout, things like that. So January is really to get grounded, to get stable, to get back into the routine, to get back into sleeping better, eating better, um, thinking better, shifting your mindset. Also, when we don't feel good, we don't really think as positively as we could or we should okay you guys so mindset is everything it's mind over matter right mindset is everything so we want to shift that so instead of jumping into these new year's resolutions that don't usually work because people burn themselves out by the end of January typically um, and you know gyms will tell you this they'll you know see people just come in sign up for the gym in January and usually by mid February I can't remember what the percentage is but it's like in the 80s or 90s percentage um, that people stop coming okay fast and furious and then we get burnt out it doesn't work it is not sustainable it is not something that you can sustain for the year if you are jumping into working out there's nothing wrong with that that's not what i'm saying but if you are going to be doing that for example you want to you know maybe start off slow like one or two times a week um 
not like five times a week and then all of a sudden you know you're burnt out and you can't do it anymore um that's usually what doesn't work we want to build on it maybe it's like you know your vitamin regimen right that is something i'm i've gone back into and that actually leads me to the next video i'm going to do for you guys but um you know so when we're talking about you know the vitamin regimen um you know, sometimes it's like we forget. Sometimes it's, you know, maybe you need to get the little, you know, plastic thing for each of the days and you need to get all your vitamins in order and you need to put them in there and you need to have maybe one that you take with you so that you empty out that day and you put, or you take the whole thing with you or whatever, right? Um, so do you see what I mean? There has to be some strategic planning to all of these things, not just jumping into it. And if you mess up one day on the plans that you have made or the steps that you are taking, that's okay. Not only is the new year a blank slate, I always tell people it's, you know, like a blank canvas, right? You are the artist of your life. You are, when we're talking about manifestation, for those that, you know, do um, work on that, in manifestation, conscious manifestation, we are the creators of our, our reality. So we are literally creating our lives, you know, with our thoughts and our feelings and our energy, right? For those who don't subscribe to that, um, you are the creator of your life. What do you want to create for your life? What do you want 2024 to look like? And like a blank canvas, what do you want to paint on there? That painting is the picture of what your life will look like let's say at the end of 2024 it is a blank canvas and you can choose whatever you want to paint on that canvas it's your choice it's your life what do you want to create okay so I hope that this was helpful for you guys. I really enjoyed doing these videos. Um, I hope, like I said, that you guys have had a wonderful start to the new year. Spend this time, if you need permission from someone, I'm giving you guys permission to take January to be the month where you like reboot, regroup, re-energize yourself. Do, you know, the planning, contemplating, you know, um, the creating. Um, I, I don't think artists go to a blank canvas and just like start, you know, painting everywhere. <laughs> I think that they actually look at it and say, probably think like, what am I going to paint? I could be wrong. Okay. Um, comment down below. But anyways, you guys, so you guys are the creators of your reality in whatever way you want to see that. So you have permission to take January, to take the time to contemplate, to plan, to start putting some, you know, um, action steps in place. All right. And you guys can start taking those uh, action steps, but it's also the month for you to really regroup and re-energize. And don't forget you guys, especially in the Northern hemisphere, our bodies, our body clock, are used to um you know from centuries ago and it's in our dna it's in our genetics to hibernate okay so this is a time of that so january is a great time to kind of contemplate and plan and start putting some things in place all right my loves and as always you guys uh don't forget to like share subscribe i would love to have you here as part of this ever-growing butterfly community comment down below share this video with anybody that you think it would be helpful for. And also you guys don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get notified of new videos and doing any number of those uh, things is the best way to support me and my channel to help my channel to grow and to get my messages out there, which is why I do this because I absolutely love to help people as much as I possibly can and put out free content on here in order to do that. All right, my loves. So I wish you all a peace, a love and light for 2024. Until next time. Bye-bye.